What's up, everybody? This is Trey Biddy with Hogsports.com coming to you from Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium following a disappointing 38-23 Razorback loss to the Auburn Tigers. Maybe the most disappointing loss in the Sam Pittman era at Arkansas. I mean, when you consider the Hogs started as a three and a half point favorite, that line went up to four and a half. All the national experts are picking Arkansas in this one. Not all of them, but most of them. A long road stint, 27 days away from your home stadium, finally back needed to get back and it just felt like all everything was kind of aligning for Arkansas to pull this one out and it just didn't work now there are plenty of reasons Arkansas lost this game there are plenty of reasons they should have been in it down to the wire referees are part of that a little bit in a category of reasons why Arkansas didn't win this game not the reason but in a category of reasons a lot of big momentum shifts uh, on referee calls so 460 yards to 427 for Arkansas 232 rushing yards to 135. 10 of 19 on third downs to four of 10 for Auburn. 89 plays to 61 plays. These are all stats that would lead you to believe like, you know, Arkansas probably put up a lot of points. You had that double uh, possession with Montec Brown interception right before the half. Arkansas goes down there and scores. Huge, huge turn events, huge play. And then Arkansas scores coming out of the half to go up finally for the first time in the game. At that point, you felt like, wow, they've got some momentum, they got some mojo, but it didn't last. And reasons that Arkansas didn't win this game, you know, you start with the, the Jashad Stewart strip, you know, and I guess they said he was picked up, so that means his forward momentum's gone. I've seen that happen all the time. I would really think if that had been called a fumble on the field, it would have stood as a fumble. And they come up with some terrible reason why it's not. Like, if that's not a fumble, what is? What is a fumble? So if you're in the process of being tackled, you can no longer fumble the ball? <laughs> what the hell is that? I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Like, I can understand, like, you know, you've got, like, a pile of, you know, Auburn players and a pile of Arkansas players pushing and nobody's going anywhere and the rest blow the whistle, less forward momentum. That's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. So that was a huge play. Arkansas could have scored there, obviously. And... Uh, would have given them a lot of juice, but they didn't. So other reasons, um, second uh, second quarter, 621 left. I thought that Rocket Sanders got that first down. It was close, but they kind of teased you with it, didn't they? Let's mark it up, oh, let's pull it out again. Oh, you're an inch short, sorry. I, I, I still thought he got it, but overall he didn't. And Arkansas was 0 of 3 on fourth downs, 0 of 3. Those are those are like turnovers. It's not like Arkansas was like going for it on their own end, like Lane Kiffin type stuff. You know, they were kind of in this no man's land around the 30 yard line where you go for it on fourth and one. And you didn't like the calls. Sure, they didn't work. I did think he got that one, but uh, but not the others really. I mean, just got stuffed. And there were other things like, you know, Arkansas is driving early, it's third and three, and KJ takes a shot at the end zone when he could have gotten the first down just running. You know, there's different things like that from a, like a game management standpoint, you know, not just on KJ, but you know, some of the some of the choices that were made here and there, you know, and so plenty of reasons Arkansas wasn't into this game, you know, at the very end. The 0 of 3 um, in the third quarter with 7:19 left, they punt. Perotti lets it go. He says the the sun got in his eyes, I guess, which happens, but it rolls 20, 15, 20 yards. And Arkansas is in terrible starting field position. They give up two huge sacks, one of them in the end zone. KJ fumbles it. I mean, and that's that's like the turning point of the game right there. That's that's the moment, isn't it? And then what happens after that? Arkansas goes down. They fail again on fourth down, deep in Auburn territory. And Auburn comes back with a 71-yard touchdown bomb. And that just breaks it open, doesn't it? That was a great call. Auburn played a great game. They had a good game plan. They played a great game. There were certain things that went against Arkansas. Um, some of it self-inflicted and some of it on the referees. I can't understand how you're down here and this dude's draped all over, draped all over Traylon Burks' back and you can't get a PI call on the two point conversion. But then down here, I mean, the moment, this is the moment where Arkansas has to have them, right? Can you see that? That's the area. That's the moment where Arkansas has to stop them and the ball is thrown way out of bounds. Now, was it pass interference? Probably, I don't think, I don't think Hudson Clark turned around from what I could see, but 
the ball is so far out of bounds to call that pass interference is absurd. And that was it. I mean, when that when that happened, that was it. Not getting that pass interference call. You had other things, you know, Debbie on Warren had a big drop pass. There were there were some other things that caused a problem for Arkansas. All right, I gotta come down here. So this this program needs a bye week. They needed a home game and that wasn't enough, but they need a bye. And they get UAPB, they ought to take care of business down in Little Rock next weekend, and then they get a bye week after, what, seven, eight weeks straight of football, eight weeks straight, and they're banged up. Bad news, Catalan's done, maybe for his career at Arkansas. He's gonna have shoulder surgery. He's been battling a shoulder for a while. He's also got a broken hand. I mean, obviously not playing like what we're used to seeing from Jalen Catalan. So that's really unfortunate. They, they do have some depth back there, luckily for them, it's safety. But uh, that's real unfortunate. Markel Utzi probably gonna miss next week too. He wasn't available for this game. He was hurt on Wednesday in practice. So that's obviously a tough blow to lose a guy in practice. But Darius Bishop has a hamstring issue. Obviously he didn't play today. Hopefully he'll get back. And there's some, plenty of other guys that got you know bumps and bruises and nicks and you know banged up here and there. Now, when I look at this team, obviously everybody's really upset losing this game because everybody thought they had a great chance. It's the first time Arkansas has been favored in an SEC game since 2017. So it's disappointing. But when we step back and look at the whole scheme of things, where this program has been, no, it's not where everybody wants it. Yes, there are opportunities for them to win this one or at least keep it close and have a shot to win in the end. But when you step back, Arkansas doesn't play a whole schedule. I think a lot of people at the beginning of the season, you know, the goal is what? Get to a bowl game, maybe win seven, something like that. I think most rational fans were thinking somewhere along those lines. But each, each game, you obviously want to win. <laughs> you're, you're broken hearted, you're disappointed, you're upset, you're pissed, whatever you want to call it. All of those emotions come out game to game. When you sit back and look at it, what did you think this program was going to be going into the season? Are they ahead of expectations? I think they are. I think it's pretty close. We'll see how these next few games go. But Arkansas still has, what, four winnable games on the schedule. They got to go at Alabama. You never say they can't just can't win a game. I mean, things happen in football, but that's obviously a really tough matchup in Tuscaloosa. But you get UAPB next week. That ought to get you to five get a bye week, and then you're bringing Mississippi State back up in here. Get some time to get healthy, get rested. That should be, that's a really important game. That's an opportunity for Arkansas to get bowl eligible. You gotta go to Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge is, LSU is beatable. That doesn't mean they'll win, but it's a, it's a game that Arkansas can compete in and possibly have a chance to win the way LSU is going. And then, uh, at Alabama, and then you get Missouri to finish things out up in Fayetteville, and Arkansas is going to win that game. So Arkansas is going to go to a bowl game. My crystal ball, as disappointing as this one was, they're around about what you thought that they should be. But this is that doesn't change the fact that this is a really disappointing game because, you know, the way the season started, you get four straight wins. You're ranked in the top ten probably going to get bounced out of the top 25 after three straight losses. That's just the way it works. Now, that doesn't mean that Arkansas can't get back in there at some point as other teams fall. And there are, again, opportunities for Arkansas to win some more games. As many as four opportunities. So, nobody likes losing. The referees certainly weren't helpful in this one. I mean, it really did feel like every every opportunity where you like you had to have something happen you know that one fourth down out of the three um, I mean there obviously I don't want to go over everything that I just said again but uh, there were some some questionable call mainly mainly the uh, the pass interference call on third down I mean where Arkansas had to have that they had to have it and that was like 1035 left in the game I mean that was a major moment and then, you know, early in the, you know, late in the first quarter, at the end of the first quarter, you have the, uh, the fumble. So, it wasn't a fumble. So, anyway, 
That's where things stand. Hey, are you straight, baby? Yeah, I'm in the middle of this, though. Right, sorry, man. Yeah, you're good. Thanks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Walk and talk is live. Anyway, see if I can get across here without getting hit today. I've only been hit by a car once this year. <laughs> it wasn't on video. Anyway, disappointing. Disappointing finish to the game. Looked like Arkansas might have swung momentum, but it didn't work out that way. So we'll be back with you guys on Monday. At least there wasn't a blower, right, for the walk and talk or a lawnmower. The audio's good. Silver lining, I don't know, hell. Anyway, they got to regroup. They got some things to figure out. And I'm, I'm gonna say this too. I think it's time to stop like this steady rotation of running backs. Like. Dominic Johnson, to me, is like the most consistent, steady back on the team. And is a guy that needs more than, what is he getting, six carries or something? I just, I mean, he, he's the most steady guy that you have back there. And that's nothing against the other guys, but it's time to start giving, you know, stop just giving everybody a chance and go with the guys that are really consistently getting it done. And that changes, I know, I get it. And I'm not saying it's like shut it down for everybody, but to me, there's got to be kind of a lead back on this team. and. It might be Dominic Johnson. All right, everybody. It's my last take of the day. A disappointing loss. A game you felt like Arkansas could have had. It just didn't work out. Great crowd today, by the way. 73,360, I think, was the attendance number. So Arkansas fans showed up. But they leave disappointed. All right, everybody. This has been Trey Biddy with Hogsports.com. We'll catch you next time.